Hello to all my friends out there. This video is get by when funds are low at the end of the month. No meat, five substitutes. So what I have here is some um, chicken top ramen. And I bought these eggs at Dollar Tree, six for dollar twenty-five. So I have one egg and one tablespoon of water. Okay, so the first thing one can substitute for meat is mushrooms. This is a half a can of mushrooms. Vegetarians use mushrooms for meat. Oh, uh, you can use fresh, that would be good. So the other thing you can, so here's the ones I had from uh, Walmart. And the other thing you can substitute is olives. Olives are getting expensive. So now I just want to mix this. So uh, you can substitute mushrooms or olives. Number two, butter, canned milk. I usually use evaporated or uh, canned cream. Here's my evaporated milk. Here is some buttermilk. So this is kind of like egg drop soup. And, and once I add the egg, I just keep stirring it so that the egg doesn't clump. If it clumps a little bit, that's okay. So butter, canned milk, or cream, meat broth. Number three is shelf-stable soy milk. So if you have uh, packages of shelf-stable uh, uh, soy milk, you can uh, make uh, tofu. You just heat your uh, soy milk. Oh, I'm making a mess. Heat your soy milk and then um, add uh, for like a half a quart, add two tablespoons of, of rice wine vinegar and then just turn the heat off. You heat it to almost boiling, really hot. Turn the heat off, let it coagulate. Then pour it through a screen and just kind of push it together like in a ball of cheese. And uh, you can put that in, to in uh, top ramen with a little soy sauce. That would be good. I could have made that. This is good too, though. Okay, so shelf-stable soy milk, or you can buy tofu. Uh, number four is nuts. I think peanuts in the shell are probably the least expensive. There's uh, Brazil nuts. I think those are one of the most um, nutritious hazelnuts and almonds. So number four is nuts. And then number five is eggs. So I still buy eggs for about uh, 20 cents. That's not too expensive. And so then, you know, you just put a little uh, salt and pepper. So, uh, the, uh, and then to go with it, I have, I bought these at, um, grocery outlet, really cheap. I already ate a couple of them. At night, I like to eat soup. And then I bought at, um, at 99 cent only this marble, uh, pound cake for 65 cents. And I made some uh, mint tea. So, uh, let, I messed my list up. So, at the end of the month, if you run out of meat, uh, the best way to avoid running out of meat is to buy either cheap meat or marked down meat. You guys have seen me do that. Okay, an example of cheap meat would be this summer sausage from Dollar Tree, 125. And I could have put that in 
but I wanted to do a video, what if there isn't any meat? And then today I, I found uh, these chicken legs marked down at Smart and Final. These turned out to be about uh, 35 cents each. I could make myself a sandwich to go with this, but this is a pretty good meal. Uh, I want to show you the tea. The best way to avoid running out of uh, food is to stockpile. I like to uh, drink this at night. Sometimes I eat oatmeal, so back to no uh, meat, you can put nuts on your oatmeal. And if you have a little shelf-stable milk, you're in business. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.